Hi, howdy. Welcome back. <laughs> um, if this is your first time to my channel, feel free to reach down and hit like. If this is not your first time, feel free to reach over and hit subscribe and then like or either or, whichever works for you. Um, this is, I don't remember what number of video this is. <laughs> I'm going to be filming several today, so there's that. Um, we are still in the middle of our stay-at-home orders here in the Great Lakes region. Uh, I know Illinois has been extended to the end of May. Indiana is supposed to be opening here on Friday. I haven't heard anything about Michigan or Wisconsin, so we we will see. Honestly, if they open Indiana, I'll be shocked. I'm a little surprised Illinois is going as long as they are, but it is what it is. I understand. Okay, now today's thing is physical exfoliator as opposed to chemical exfoliator. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, this is a physical exfoliator. It's got the grains in it, you rub it on your face, you're trying to take off dead skin to reveal new, fresh, pretty skin, give you a beautiful glow kind of deal. This tends to be the one I use, that or Shea Moisture. This is actually a really good one. Now, that is opposed to a chemical exfoliator like this one. Actually, I used this the other day for the first time. I, I've always shied away from chemical exfoliators because I'm honestly afraid of it being too harsh and causing problems with my skin. But my thought was, well, I'm at home. If I turn bright red from it, nobody's going to notice. I'm at home. So yay me. I gave this a whirl. This is Estee Lauder's Perfectionist Pro Instant Resurfacing Peel. I got this at the holidays, bundled up with one of their serums, uh, the Lifting Firming Serum. And I had never tried this. So I gave this a whirl about three, four days ago. I want to say about four days ago. Now, for those of you who've never done a chemical exfoliator, this is supposed to be an instant resurfacing peel. It's, it's basically a chemical exfoliator. Um, you have to be careful. You do have to wear sunscreen afterwards or you will burn. And it does tell you that on the back of the bottle. In fact, this one, like for example, to use this one, it says to use in PM twice a week, apply an even layer on clean skin. And then after 10 minutes, use a wet washcloth to remove and then rinse your face thoroughly. Did that. There was no tingling sensation. It did warn that there could be one. And then it also does war warn you, you to use a sunscreen and limit sun exposure while using and then the week after you use it as well. So if you only use it once, you do have to use sunscreen that whole week and then the week after because your skin is extra sensitive, which I found out yesterday. Um, I have been painting parts of the house and I took out some doors outside to paint them and it was a gray day about to rain. And let's see if I can do it. Got a tiny bit of a sunburn, not much. Thankfully, it did start raining and I wasn't outside for more than like 20 minutes on like the most overcast possible. But even on overcast days, you can get sunburned as that showed. Now, I was lucky I wasn't out there very long and it wasn't a very sunny day, so I did not get much of sun exposure. But with a, see, with one of these, it does make a difference. You have to, have to, have to use sunscreen. It does make you more prone to because well, it kind of thins your skin while you're using it. It does make you more prone to freckling and sun damage and it can increase your likelihood of getting skin cancer if you're not careful. So you do have to wear sunscreen, okay? Now, this stuff is great. Like, like I said, I never used this until a week ago. And then, not even a week ago, I think it was like three, four days ago, my skin looked amazing. Like super duper amazing. I've never seen my skin quite look like this after I did it and then the next morning it still had a it, it glowed it was beautiful I have never tried one of these before then but I let me tell you I will be finishing this bottle now there are pluses and negatives see this this you can use more regularly um, I do use this when I you know most I'd say two three times a week that or the Shea Moisture version. I just, I've been trying to go through the stuff I have so that I don't buy stuff like I'm kind of on a low buy thing right now. I have a tendency to hoard skincare. And when reorganizing my shelves, I realized I have a crap ton of skincare. So I'm trying to go through all of my stuff, give away to people who I know will use certain things, um, use up stuff I do have. Now this is by Queen Helen, it's the Oatmeal and Honey Scrub. I love this one, it has never broken me out, it's never done anything bad to my skin. 
but the one drawback to a physical exfoliator like this is a lot of people tend to really push hard when doing it and can overdo it. And it's not necessarily great for your skin when you do that. Like, I mean, if you're really light with it, it can be fine, not a problem. And I'm never really aggressive when it comes to that because I don't want to rub myself raw. So this is good. If you are somebody that has that problem, try this. You know, the Estee Lauder is really good. Or they sell other ones at Sephora and Ulta that are not Estee Lauder. Some of them are cheaper, some of them are not. This is really, really nice. Like, just to show you guys what it looks like. That, and believe it or not, that is just about enough to do your whole face. Now, it's you don't even have to use a lot. It's just a very thin layer that you need. That's what it comes out looking like. And it sits on your face. It does warn it can tingle. But I didn't have any tingling, nothing like that. So that is the difference. And actually, I was really surprised by how much I liked this. But as you can see, a little bit of sunburning. That, that will teach me. Um, I have been basically living in my sun bum. So I, I kind of forgot to put it on yesterday when I was painting. And I kind of regret that. But like I said, it was thankfully not too bad. So if anybody has any questions or comments or is curious about either one of these, feel free to reach down and leave a comment. I think I have no problem answering any questions on those. I've used both. Um, if you're looking for physical, this is nice. This is cheap. You can get this at the dollar store, order it online, Amazon, Walmart. Love Queen Helen. Queen Helen. This stuff's great. If you're looking for chemical, the Estee Lauder's good like I said, or you can Google through Sephora. Thanks. Have a nice night. Remember, stay safe, wash your hands, social distancing, wear a mask. We are still expecting a second wave of this stuff in the fall, so we do want to be careful, guys. Okay? Feel free. Leave a comment. Have a nice night.